But first, Thomas's bum will have to wait because it's time for a true legend of the chat show world to roll his ass onto my sofa. It's Jonathan Ross! <laughs> What can I get you to drink, love? Uh, well, I'm uh, I'm off the alcohol. Oh, Bora! <laughs> Don't fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the appropriate yeah. response, don't you? I will, no. oh, but we've got those drink responsibly adverts in between. We can't start going, have a drink, have a drink. Force it on that's people. That's a white ace. <laughs> wow, what is that even? Do you know what? Taylor Swift was on the show. She was necking that. She loved it. it. Wow. Like, oh my God, or a thumb. Blah, 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 you blah. need about four of these in Ed Sheeran look sexy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck yourself. <laughs> I found a catchphrase. <laughs> Lucy will be furious <laughs> if you didn't think of that one. Go, go, me, you go. go fuck yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, um, all right, do you want like a ties up? So, so you're on a diet. I don't want you? a ties either. What's wrong with you? You're like a feeder. You're trying <gasps> to get me plump <laughs> again. I'm, I'm trying to keep a weight off. I've lost some weight. I'm on a diet. I'm off the sugars and I'm off the carbohydrates. Oh, bollocks. Um, <laughs> I'd love a water. I'd love a water. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Well, I'll, Is that I'll, what you got there? I'll have a ties up, so did. So you have lost weight, though. Yes, so, so, so tell me, what is it doable? Because none of this like... It's easy. It's easy. Well, my wife found this diet because she wanted to lose some weight, but she wanted to be... She wanted to keep eating. What have you done? I've got ties are up me crutch. I do. <laughs> I do have that effect on the boys, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. What, your teeth? Oh, I suppose it's not really a problem, is it? Um... <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Now, I've got to say thanks for coming down tonight, because this show's a stand-up to cancer special. Of course, yeah. And you've been on every one of these we've done. Thank you so much for the support. I didn't realise I'd done every one. Eh? Well, like, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a thrill for me to be invited on your show anyway. You know that. I love your show. Oh. But, of course, who doesn't want to stand up to cancer? It's a wonderful thing they do at Channel Yeah. Channel. I tell you what. Why don't we next time do celebrity goggle box together? I would love that. Wouldn't that be good? I would love that. You're up for it, wicked. Let's do that for sure. Because actually, because we genuinely are friends, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. You paused for a second then before. <laughs> you... No, we are there friends. Was, there was a pause though, wasn't no. there? Like, <laughs> you thought, what's the polite thing to say? No, no. <laughs> we are friends. But the thing is, what people don't realise with us, if we went on uh, goggle box, they think we'd be like those two young gay hairdressers together, wouldn't you? But actually, <laughs> now, you know ones are orange, you know those? We're quite intellectual. We'll be like those two older men who sit behind that painting of the massive tits. It's also... <laughs> you know, you know, like, yes, I like that, yes. yes uh, Wonderful. <laughs> you know, Socrates likes to play football. <laughs> but that's the worst picture of breasts I've seen in my life. I, I know! Where did they get that from? Why did they move in and it was just there? <laughs> they just never painted over it. It's fucking horrible. Yeah, I know. I don't think we'd be like the posh... Uh, I think we'd be more like um, June and Leon. <laughs> We'd be sitting there and I'd see someone and you go, Oh, you like him, don't you? I'd go, Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's us right there. Yeah. You're more Leon, I'm more June, <laughs> aren't I? That's a terrible thing. Well, did you ever see. Don't that... you touch that hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you... The funniest lie we ever was. Do you remember they seen that greyhound racing and he went, We went dogging once, dude. <laughs> She just went, yeah. <laughs> she didn't know, she didn't think. Well, maybe they went dog and it just wasn't a big deal. Wasn't it? <laughs> Have they ever said anything about your show? Look, exactly, they've invited you dog. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I was on the show once and your heart sinks. Have you been oh, like, yeah. you, you on it? Do you fucking, no, Sandra, Sandra and Sandy said. They, they love you. Oh, said, oh, he's put on weight, he's oh. got that. Well, I think that's what she said, because she had a fucking bucket of chicken in her mouth. <laughs> I'm all geared up for chatty man coming on. I go, oh, then my show. I go, Hold shit. It. Alan, you sit at home watching yourself on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds like that's, like that's the high point of your week. I'm all excited for chatty man. You fucking did it on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to recap the laughter and the tears. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're sitting here having a laugh, but yeah. as of next week, 
we're going to be <laughs> rivals. Yeah. Well, I don't ever think of us like that. No, no, no. Because I'm on a Saturday night, you're on a Friday night. Yeah. You're, you're on the night when they put the gay talk shows. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been straight zoned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who have you got on? Come on, tell me. Make well, me jealous. we've got a good line the first week. I'm looking forward to it. We have got uh, Jessica Ennis-Hill, yep. who I love. We have got uh, Paul Whitehouse and Harry Enfield. Oh, well, we've got Tom Jones. Oh. And we've got Vin Diesel. Now listen, can I t have you interviewed Vin before? I have interviewed Vin before. He's been on this show. I was so surprised. He's a lovey, isn't he? He's a, yeah, he is a bit lovey. Because I remember asking once, I said to him, what kind of film would you really love to make? What, what films would you... And you expect it to be, I don't know, you know, kind of because he's known for the Fast and Furious and the big action movies. He went, I'd love to do Guys and Dolls. Yes. He wants to be in a musical. Yes. He's like, oh, wonderful. No, he's not that bad. But I mean, oh, darling, <laughs> darling. Daddy knows best. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, he's, uh, you're not what you expect. I was well surprised. <laughs> I was. Now, you're also doing this special for, to the new Bond film. There's a Bond special. It's on next Saturday as well. So that's in the evening at 6.30, and the talk show's on at 10.15, because I love Bond. 20 years ago, I made a Bond special for ITV called In Search of James Bond, which was a big success for him. It was great fun. And I've interviewed all of the James Bonds I've yeah. I met everyone who's playing Bond on screen. And then they asked me if I'd go down and do something about Spectre. And I had a great time doing it because we got such great access. I mean, I interviewed Daniel, I interviewed the director Sam, I interviewed the new Bond girls, it was Alea Sedu, and it was Monica Bellucci, who told me she's a Bond woman, of course. Christoph Waltz, who's the, uh, the villain in this one. Who oh, looked... he's the one from Django Unchained. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, incredible. Oh, he's brilliant. He's actor. incredible. And you, so you've seen the film? No, I've avoided seeing it. I've seen, all, I've seen parts of it, I know what's going on oh. in there, but I, and I know where the big action scenes are, but you don't want to talk too much, you don't want to spoil it for no, people. No, no. There's a thing in Austria, I look out for that, and I don't think they've ever done that in a movie before. It looks incredible. It sounds really good. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I mean, you're the daddy of chat, yeah. <laughs> what advice would you give anyone starting out in this world of chat? I don't know if I'd give any advice, because, you know, we all feel our way. The good, I think the best, the people who survive, and I've had a long, I've been very lucky, I've just persevered in a long career, but I think the people who survive, they survive because they, they eventually become themselves or a version of themselves on screen. You know what I mean? You kind of, yeah. no, you, you enjoy what you're doing and it isn't like you're faking it too much. So I would say, you know, try and be yourself on it, enjoy it. But I suppose the other thing is try and remember the guest names. That's important. Oh, God, <laughs> I had Chiwetel Ejiofor on. Oh, my God. Is that, that's not even how you pronounce it. No, I it's no. Edgy well, I called him Chewbacca, eat your face off. Oh. When he, was... <laughs> well, he, doesn't, he doesn't like... Cos I met him once, I said, can I call you Chewy? He went, no. Who's <laughs> <laughs> how you messed up? Come on. I don't know if I messed up. I know I fell asleep when I was interviewing someone once. Fuck <laughs> off. I did. Cos it was hot. <laughs> it was hot. And I had a late night, and, while he, and he was boring, and I was trying to be a teacher, and I was listening. And you know when you're on the tube or something, and, he's pissing, and they're, they're sort of like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I was doing this, and I knew him fairly yeah. well, and he thought I was winding him up. He thought I was doing this as a joke. He was going, oh, like that. I was going, oh, oh, no! <laughs> and after he said, that was funny, I went, what, what, what was funny? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> shit! God. I've forgotten loads of people I've interviewed. Still, some of people go, oh, that time you had so-and-so on your guys, I've never interviewed her. Never met her. They go, no, you have I? no, I've never interviewed her. They show me a picture of her. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Have you ever had a female on who's had no knickers on? <laughs> I've had two people on and I have seen their vajayjay. Oh. <laughs> You wear knickers on a chat show. I know. And they were saying this, they were saying I this mean, the thing is, going, Alan, oh my God, it was like, and I'm like, she must, have, she must have thought I had a lazy eye, because I was like... What would you do? Well, but what? what's up? And it's terrible, because you would think that Mary Berry would know better. <laughs> I know. Everybody. <laughs> 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 <laughs>